Hey option traders, for today's trade we're looking at a bearish option play in home improvement retailer Home Depot. So taking a look on MarketSmith, the stock has been in a downtrend since December. Shares have found resistance at the 21 day and 50 day lines, which suggest that there is some institutional distribution in the stock. The stock is now attempting to regain support at its 50 day line, but has been rising recently in very weak volume. The stock was also added to Swing Trader as a full sized short position on July 12th. The entry price for the short sale was at $284.46. The stock is currently ranked number 13 in the wholesale retail building products industry group, which shows that it's indeed not a leader at this time. It also maintains a low composite rating of only 66 and a relative strength rating of 57. Weakness in the stock's relative strength line is also another bearish signal. So with the stock below key levels of support, you could consider putting on a bearish option strategy here in Home Depot. Today, we are looking at one known as a bearish diagonal put spread. A bearish diagonal put spread is constructed using put options, as the name suggests. It is used when investors expect the underlying stock price to fall. So remember with options, there are two types of options. We have calls and puts. With both calls and puts, you can either be a buyer or a seller. Just like with any stock, you can either buy long or sell short. A bearish diagonal put spread is constructed by buying a put and selling a put simultaneously. This spread is a debit spread, which means that you'll pay a premium upfront for initiating the trade. It also means the option that you bought is more expensive than the option that you sold. Together, these two options create a spread. The difference in strike prices creates a specified range. The investor can expect a profit or a loss based on where the stock trades within that range. Another important aspect of this spread is that both puts are on the same stock, but they have two different expiration dates. This is also referred to as a time spread. So let's use an example. Say I have a bearish assumption on XYZ stock and implied volatility is low. This could be a good time to put on a bearish diagonal put spread. Say the stock is trading at around 100, dollars a share. To set up this diagonal, I'm going to look at buying a put with a 110 strike and selling a put with a 90 strike. The higher strike put at 110 is considered in the money because if I own that put, it would allow me to sell the stock instantly at a higher price than it trades at currently. This instant profit potential means the put is in the money. The lower strike $90 put is out of the money given that the option has no profit embedded in it at the time of initiating the trade. Now, both of these put options not only have different strike prices, but two different expiration dates as well. The higher strike 110 put that I'm going to buy should have an expiration that's further out in time. The lower strike $90 put should have an expiration that is nearer in time. Investors can estimate the profit potential of this trade by taking the width of the strikes, which in this case is $20 and subtracting the net debit paid. Let's say I purchased the 110 strike put, which expires in November for $15 and sold the 90 strike put, which expires in August for $5. That nets a debit of $10, which is my total cost for the trade. The $20 spread minus a $10 net cost shows a profit potential of roughly $10 per share per contract in this trade. So now that you have a better understanding of the mechanics of this trade, Let's take a look at my trading platform and set up uh, an option trade here. So for this trade, we are looking at ticker symbol HD for Home Depot. And on Thinkorswim, you're going to want to select diagonal as your spread type here in this box. And I started this trade by looking at the August 19th expiration. This splits it between August 19th and August 26th but we are going to edit this second uh, expiration down below. To reiterate, the diagonal spread has two different strike prices and two different expiration dates across the two uh, put, put options uh, that we are using to construct this trade. You can select one of these over here. Don't go to this side of the screen, go to this side of the screen because this is where the uh, prices are for put options. So you select one of these, and it will bring this up down below. 
And you can adjust any one of these. Um, you can adjust your strike prices, your expirations. You just want to make sure that you are set up to buy one November 18th expiring 290 put and sell one August 19th expiring 260 put. So for this trade in Home Depot, we're looking at buying the November 18th 290 put and selling the August 19th 260 put to create the spread. The option spread will cost roughly $18.90 in premium. The strategy earns the most profit if Home Depot stock closes right at 260 at the August expiration, where the profits are estimated to be around $1,750 per contract. If Home Depot stock drops even further, the trade will make around $200. In terms of risk management, I would not look to hold this trade to expiration, especially since Home Depot is expected to report earnings on August 16th. This could be a catalyst for an upside or downside move as it comes with added risk. Also consider setting a stop loss of 20% in the trade. Adding some bearish trades to your portfolio like this one using options can help offset the risk of other bullish trades and neutralize your overall market exposure. So as always, remember that if you're new to options, make sure that you practice with a virtual account before risking any real money. And remember that options are very complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. Check out investors.com slash options for more option trading tips. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.